It's all about your safety as you prepare for your Thanksgiving trip, but it is creating a ton of controversy. A crowded Boston Logan International Airport evacuated when two suspicious bags were found. After a few hours, police determined the bags didn't contain anything harmful, and the all clear was given. That incident comes as there is a heightened level of security at airports around the nation. Many of you complaining about those enhanced screening procedures, x-rays that essentially transmit a virtually nude image of passengers, or the alternative, a much more invasive pat-down that's also coming under fire. The former head of the House Intelligence Committee weighed in on the net new security tactics today. And 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Alvin is here with more on that. Rick. Brian, even as Congressman Pete Hoekstra is packing up his Holland office in preparation for a return to private life, he's still keeping an eye on the threats posed to this and other countries by terrorists. I ask him if the current ramping up in airport security is necessary. They're necessary. Now, there may be a more appropriate way to do this. You would have think that they could that they would have tested these things to kind of gauge public reaction before they went nationwide. So I'm sure that you'll see them modified, uh, streamlined, and improved over the coming months. The second thing is they're absolutely necessary. You take a look at the threat environment. Uh, Europe's nervous. You know, Germany shut down its parliament for a couple of days as uh, they uh, were nervous about an attack there. The threat level is up in uh, the U.K. I was just recently there. Uh, the threat level in Western society, in Western countries, is up everywhere because there's so much chatter about al-Qaeda, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, uh, al-Qaeda in the Maghreb. They all want to attack Europe or the United States. When you talk about chatter, it's the things that the intelligence community starts to hear. It might not be specific, but it makes them concerned that something might go on. From your position on the intelligence committee, you can't talk about specifics, uh, but from what you just said, I gather that that, that volume has turned up. Uh, the volume has turned up. The specificity is up. Uh, you know, we're also now, you know, we're within 10 months of the 10-year uh, anniversary of 9-11. I think you're going to see this kind of climate uh, leading up to uh, that anniversary. Al-Qaeda, they want to hit us. They've made that clear. Uh, and they're expanding the range uh, in the different, the range of types of attacks that they're considering, smaller scale uh, to larger scale attacks. They want to hit us, and they want to hit us as often as they can. The head of the TSA and Homeland Security have both defended the practices of the new, more invasive pat-downs or those scans at airports despite widespread criticism. They've also said that some modifications in the screening process may be made as time goes on. As for the busy travel season beginning now, there are likely to be more complaints and potential slowdowns because of the enhanced screening as airports reach their peak traffic time. Susie? Thank you, Rick.